نحمده نصلي على رسول الكريم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم دي ستودن السلام عليكم today we will discuss sex item of your course the first one is rural area the second one is rural system and the third one is sub ur the fourth one is urban sprawl the fifth one is development and the sixth one is three core value of development first of all come to rural area rural area is a dirt area where majority based on agriculture and natural resources population density of rural area is less than the urban area the social solidarity in rural area is more you will see greeny everywhere in the rural area there the natural beautification is more and there you will see majority tourism spot in the rural area which play great role in the economic development of the rural sector but the rural area also supply food to the nation because the big agriculture industry is working in the rural area but in rural area the healthy laborers are available so someone find the job in army and they work for the safety of the country but in rural area you will see the mines as well as other important gases in the hill area so they also play a great role for the development of the country now we come to forward to second topic the second topic name is rural system it is a dead system which is the combination of many organ which interlink with one another and run the business of the rural area in rural area you have observed different sector different institution they are working for the rural area there the feudalists are present there the landlord are present and they govern over the whole rural area so in rural area you will see the school you will see the wabda you will see the transportation system and you will see the agriculture system they all depend on one another and they interlink with one another and they run the business of the rural community so rural system is a dead system which is the combination of many organs which interlink with one another and run the business of the rural area now we come to third topic the third topic name is sub ur sub ur is a dead area which is lying around the city there the population density is a little low than the city and there the houses are a little large but in this area you will see urban and rural both system so sub up area example as the falusi as well as pawake and peshawar now we come to urban sprawl due to high population density high density the city spread it day by day and establish new residential area this process is called urban sprawl through urban sprawl 
the pressure which come on the city they spread it to their surrounding and they make the road and they establish the houses there and they make house model surrounding the city to decrease the pressure of population density on the city so the extension a residential area surrounding the city or urban is called the urban sprawl so now we come to another topic the another topic name as development there are so many definition of the development but still the definition of the development is not clear and in different era the definition is different in 1970 per capita income increasing was called development but later on this definition was rejected then slowly gradually another definition was established human index hdi here part development three main thing as measure the first one is literacy rate the second is per capita income and the third one as life expectancy with the help of these three uh item the development as measure and when and the development if they about from 0.5 this is called developing country but if they about about 0.5 to 0.8 this is the middle developed country and when the development was about 0.9 this is highly development developing country so there are also other definition any problem solution is called development poverty eradication from the rural area from the urban area is called development unsatisfied situation change into satisfied situation is called development so there is also another definition that development is a long process there we increase the economic growth as well as we take some transformational changes in the institution in the area and we want to improve the quality of the life but still uh, the definition of the development is confused but according to my view any positive change is called development for example if you run some project in the rural area some people get the benefit and some people uh we damage by project so it is necessary for the government to compensate those people who was damaged by product and the people who has get some benefit so they will tax and they will take the money and then that money we will spend in those area where the people have been uh, uh, damaged so development is a long process every country try uh, to uh, do the development but uh, the definition uh, in different angle they think the development now we come to sex point the sex point uh, is three core value of development the three core value of development is sustenance self esteem freedom servitude sustenance mean the ability to meet the basic need when the people fulfill the basic need this is called sustenance in rural area majority people not fulfill the basic need and the 
are below the extreme poverty. So the government try how to solve these extreme poverty and they learn different type program for the development. So in development, uh, if you do development in any area or you implement some project in any area, this is your duty uh, to see the sustenance uh, of the pupil. To uh, meet the, uh, it is the ability to meet the basic need. If the pupil, if the project not fulfill the basic need to the community, therefore it is necessary uh, for the government to not launch that project in that area. Because uh, if they create a problem for the uh, rural poverty, automatically uh, there will be disturbance occur and they will affect the whole development of the country. The second one is self-esteem. Everyone when work, they try how to get the respect, how to get the dignity and how to get the honor. So in development, you will also focus on self-esteem. For which you are done the project, this is the duty of the uh, members to uh, question from the community uh, either this project will give respect or dignity or honor if they uh, give permission uh, that it will give dignity, honor and respect to us then uh, they will uh, start the work and after implementation of the project then evaluate the situation before what was the um, dignity, respect, honor and now when we have uh, implemented the project what type of dignity, honor and respect they have gained because through project their uh, economic growth will be occur and when the economic growth occur automatically they will uh, get more money and when they have more wealth automatically uh, they will spend it and their the dignity and uh, respect uh, the people uh, will be due. So therefore uh, it is necessary for every, every implementer uh, to before implementation of the project to see the self-esteem of the community. The third one is freedom servitude. Freedom servitude means if you uh, apply the project either they provide freedom to the community or not. If they not provide freedom to the community, so the people will go against this project and they will resist. For example, uh, if in some area the people uh, uh, want to improve the socio-economic condition of the people, so the project implementer try to establish good school in that area for female and male, but there some people uh, consider uh, this is a disrespect so they uh, stop the uh, female uh, school in that area. So it is necessary for the project implementer to first survey the area and they will know the sustenance as well as they will know the um, self-esteem and they will also see, see the uh, freedom. Uh, service you. So, if uh, the project we implement in that area and we want to develop uh, that area, so these three core values will be checked first. Other sustenance, uh, if the project we implement, either sustenance will be made to society or not. The second one, respect, dignity will be improved or not. So you will see this thing. And the third one, freedom service you. Either the freedom will be available to them, their freedom will be increased or decreased. When the freedom increase automatically, we will consider that we have done some work in that area. So it was 
a simple uh, lecture which I have present for the student and the student now uh, listen this video and they share among their class pero as well as, as well as to other people of Pakistan and other institution of the world and through this way they will uh, transfer knowledge to other side and they, uh, the developmental project implementer uh, they will see these things the three core value of the development and they will also know what is the urban area what is the rural area and what is the rural system which is working in the rural area please student in the last i request to subscribe my channel as well as share this video to other people as well as uh, get the knowledge use in the field and through this way develop the Pakistan and bring the prosperity in the country of Pakistan but also provide this prosperity to the whole world as a Muslim. Pakistan Zindabad.